Hello and welcome to my channel and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to change the serpentine belt on a TD5 Discovery. There are different belts depending on the spec of your Discovery. So it will all depend if you've got aircon or ace. So make sure you get the right belt. I'm going to list them here now. Tools you'll need is a 15mm socket. Now I've already stripped mine down because I'm fitting a new radiator. Um, if you'd like to see that, click in the top corner now. But if you haven't stripped yours down, you'll also need a screwdriver um, and some fan spanner tools. Again, look at my video and I'll show you how to do that. So let's go. So this is the serpentine belt. And this is why I'm replacing mine. This was only fitted two years ago. Um, so don't buy a cheap belt. This is the tensioner. This is what you need to move to give slack to the belt so you can remove it. Right, just turn it anti-clockwise if you can see that. Okay, see that? And then you can remove the belt. Do it forward. Then you just take the belt off. As you can see, look at the cracks in this. This belt has done 6,000 miles. So I fitted it two years ago and it is muddled. But it's a brick part belt. So don't buy a brick part belt. Get a, a deco. So hopefully you made a note of where the belt goes on the pulleys but if not I'll insert this picture here right. start off underneath the crank pulley the hardest part to get in slide it in there like that slide that pump Uh, and then you just slide that under. So check it's all lined up. Lined up there, lined up there, lined up there, and then let go. That's it. Just 
Check it's all lined up on the pulleys. There you go, one new serpentine belt installed. I right, hope you liked the video, hope it helped you out in the future. And don't forget to uh, have a look at my other videos, especially for the Discovery 2, and think about subscribing. See you on the next one.